What's up guys? Welcome back to Crypto Weekly Review, home of the Wolfpack. Oh man, was I right or what? I called it 0 0.0777. We did end up hitting that four hex. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the World Economic Forum, CBDCs, the general macro environment, and price predictions for hex. I'm also announcing another giveaway. In the last video, I gave away $500 to Bruce Bruce, and I have an announcement of an announcement. I got something big coming up for you guys in the next few days. But hey, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into the charts. You be all sus, yeah. I just doubled up on crypto. I just doubled down on the new vest. Now my chair looking like two checks. Type of money made me want to two step. Who next? This week I be on the moon next. Stop going up like two X. That's a fast flip like suplex. Two real estate like a duplex. You bet never lose change, but I do flex. Bitcoin on the daily chart. The support is barely holding. The bears are fully in control and they got your girl. We do have a support right here at 28.6. You can see how many touches have we had. One, two, three, four, five, and now a sixth touch. But one of the concerning things is look at the bear volume. When the bears step in, it's way more volume than the bulls. You see these two little pumping days we had, the 22nd and the 23rd? Look at the bull volume. I mean, it's just not existent. I mean, this looks bad. <laughs> A lot of times, Bitcoin will chop down and retest its lows to make sure it was the bottom. This 200 exponential moving average is where I'd be closing my short right here. That was the bottom of the bear market right here in 2019. And then over here during the COVID dip, um, it could have a nice bounce when it retests right here, right around 27,000. I mean, where are the bulls at? Don't you want to make some money? Do you guys not want to make some money? I mean, like, do you guys not want to make some fucking money? I want to make some money. The 377 exponential moving average on the weekly chart has finally printed. And that is a little bit scary because when the 200 EMA finally showed up, that was the bottom of the bear market. Does that mean we're going to come down here and test this at about 14K? A lot of people are talking about 14K. I think that could happen, but man, that would be painful. MicroStrategy is trading under $200. That is an 18 month low. Which one's the best crypto asset? Well, Bitcoin's the best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? There's no second best. There's no second best crypto asset. There's a crypto asset, it's called Bitcoin, right? Right, there's no second best, okay? It's not, it's not like... Michael Saylor is averaged in at about 30K. His margin call is rumored to be around 21K. He does have 129,000 Bitcoin, okay? Are we gonna see another Luna style flush? If we get to around 20K, are we actually gonna hit that 14,000 mark? I think that it is possible. Ah, uh, yes, guys, I hope you're ready to eat some bugs and own nothing because it is that time of the year again. The World Economic Forum is meeting in Davos. It's the rich and political elite will fly here on their corporate jets and discuss climate change and how to control the unwashed masses. The irony of hundreds of private luxury jets and petroleum powered luxury vehicles in Davos to talk to us about climate change is staggering and there isn't any country on the planet that isn't feeling and living the impacts of the climate crisis how many of you are driving an electric vehicle at the moment one two three four so i would say that probably constitutes less than five percent of the persons uh, sitting here in this room that's right, do as I say, not as I do. The same people that want to take away your guns have a private security detail that is armed to the teeth. Uh, there's many journalists here, and I want to yeah, know why know. he specifically is being detained. There, There is a reason, but uh, everything is clear now, and um, we're about to leave in just a few seconds. Thank you. Okay? Um, yeah. Could you please now, uh, can I ask you please to delete your, your... Yes, the annual meetings at the World Economic Forum are where the corporate elite and where the political elite meet to discuss critical things like reimagining your human rights. So I think we're going to have to think about a recalibration of a whole range of human rights that are playing out online, you know, from freedom of speech to the freedom to, you know, to be free from on online violence or the uh, right of data protection to the right 
to child dignity. Yes, those human rights are definitely getting in the way of progress for the Great Reset, but they are also not very profitable. Not profitable like the C-19, which they brag about. The, the rise in billionaires has been, you know, unprecedented during the pandemic, and there's been several sectors where that has been mostly concentrated, and one is, in fact, the pharma sector, because COVID has been one of the most um, profitable products ever. So that, and our report out today is called Profiting from Pain, and, and the, the statistic we're saying is every 30 hours, um, a new billionaire was vinted during the pandemic. After all, pharmaceutical products are a juicy, juicy industry. Isn't that right, Martin Screlly? Well, I invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and respectfully decline to answer your question. Just think how happy you'll be when you own nothing, okay? But if you own nothing, who owns everything? Well, they will. One world government, great reset. And how will they accomplish this? It's with central bank digital currencies. Once they can stop cash, once they can control every single microtransaction in your life, they can just shut you off like they did with the Canadian truckers. And how will they control us? They are going to do it with carbon tax credits in the guise of a climate change crisis. We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm. Stay tuned, we don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. That's right, you're burning too much fuel, we shut you off for fuel purchases. Oh, you're eating too much meat, you're hurting the environment, bam, your card can no longer buy meat. Mass surveillance, mass control, and a whole lot of taxes that you'll never be able to get out of. Basically, it'll turn into the China's social credit score system. I bet you don't know what this is. I'm going to show you something which is going to blow your mind. It's a camera, but not just any old camera. It's one of 700 million that are dotted all over China as part of their mass surveillance program. There's literally one camera for every two people in China, and they cover 100% of the whole country. Every single person, whether it be Chinese nationals or foreigners, can be identified using these cameras through facial recognition or something called gait, which uses your body movements to identify you insane and it's all linked to china's social credit system so that means when the camera catches you not wearing a mask or crossing the road without waiting for the green go light you lose social credit points and that can mean higher mortgage rates higher taxes slower internet speeds more expensive public transport the list goes on but we have crypto literally that's probably one of the only things holding them back they cannot really ban it they can't really confiscate it it is a rebellion that's why I have a huddle position that I will never let go of. Yes, I sold my trading stack on this channel live at about 65K and I'm USD heavy because I feel like we're going into a recession and the dollar is going to appreciate. But overall, I'm going off the cliff with Bitcoin. I'll ride it to zero because it's the last bastion of hope here. So remember that during the bear market, just holding it is a protest against all of this fuckery. Sam Bankman-Fried has taken over the job of Arthur Hayes. He is now the great liquidator, all right? Well, he's donating over $100 million to a super PAC for the left, okay? Now, I don't pick sides. I don't like any side. I'm libertarian. All I'm saying is the left is in charge. He's giving them $100 million. Hey, that's just paying them off to stay in business. That's just the way I see it. He's worth about 20 billion dollars okay his political donations have yielded mixed results he was one of the single largest donors backing president joe biden yeah uh i think everybody can clearly see what's going on here so let's say that you have a hundred dollars and you want to figure out what you can do with it to help the world earning to give is thinking about which causes which charities save the most lives per dollar this hundred dollars can go as far as it possibly can to help the world Nope. Well, that was a bunch of bullshit, but you know what's not a bunch of bullshit is these Fibonacci pivots. Hooray! I called it 777. That's where we flushed down to, but at the end of the day, it's still a big dump. So it's still an L. But Hex on the daily chart is looking like Richard Hart's antics are killing everything. It's real simple, okay? Stop being a little fucking bitch. You're a scumbag, scamming piece of shit. You don't realize it. I'm 
going to help you understand that. Unfortunately, PP size does nothing for the price, and if it did, I definitely would be pumping it up hard. <laughs> I really, I really think that uh, Hex has some further downside, you know, because uh, it's been rewritten on Go from Solidity, and it's going to have bugs. It's going to take a bunch of audits. It's going to be a while. The general macro environment is bearish, and I think we could go lower. And how low can we go? Well. Uh, if you look at this volume node right here, now this is horizontal volume, okay? This is the most Hex has ever been traded by far, like right here, from one cent to about three cent, all the way down to like 007. This is your buy zone. This is your target. It may not ever get here, but look at this volume node. That's the point of control on the weekly chart. I mean, look, I sold publicly on this channel at 45 cents and told people to get out while your favorite hexagon youtuber was telling you it's a panacea and that you should buy okay and i'm telling you right here man that right in this area on this volume node is where you buy now you might miss it you might miss it but uh i see further downside for hex even though richard hart is having a debate and i bet you he's doing a good job because he's very good at that he did pull up in his bentley with two women like he is bruce wayne or something all right now i will be reviewing that on the next stream if you want to check that out also, I have another giveaway. I did give away $500 in Hex. You know, it's not that much, but I did give a stranger, Bruce Bruce, $500 in Hex. He said he was going to hodl. And I'm also announcing another giveaway and a huge surprise is coming in the next couple of days. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.